What's up YouTube? It's me, 360 Wave Process Rashad, and today I'm about to show you guys how to grow a full, thick beard with no patches, alright? Now, we're gonna get right into this video, alright? This is a long-awaited video. I've been hyping it up, so this video is about to actually meet the hype. You know how some videos get hyped up and they don't meet it? This one about to meet the hype. So if you not subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now to 360 Wave Process, all right? Also, make sure y'all hit the like button. Let's get into the video. My beard has not always been this thick, this full. I actually used to have patches right here and right here. Just a small patch, it didn't grow in fully. And when it didn't grow in fully, I used to like to keep my beard low because it would be less of a contrast, therefore the patches would look less noticeable. But now that my beard is growing thick and full and with no patches, I like to keep it thick because I think it looks better like that, honestly. But I didn't realize that it looks better like that until it actually came in fully. I'm about to give you guys a few tips that you can take with you after this video to help you grow your beard in fuller with no patches. Step one, I gotta say this because if I don't say this, then that's just me being irresponsible. Genetics plays a main role in if you're able to grow facial hair or not. If you're genetically predisposed to not grow thick, facial hair or facial hair at all, these tips will not help you that much, okay? If it's not in your DNA, it's not gonna be possible. So just understand that. Next, now that we got that out the way, on to the next tip, all right? So you guys probably not gonna believe this next tip. When I tell it to y'all, actually y'all gonna be like, you know what, yeah, I, I like that tip. So this tip right here is basically to do it. To, 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 to knock some ankles loose, as T. Pendel would say, all right? <laughs> so basically, it's a proven scientific fact that if you getting it in, your beard will grow faster, all right? It's a scientific fact. And I could let you guys know, like, my beard didn't start growing real thick until I moved into the dorms in college. I had a girl, though, you know what I mean? We broke up, though, but my beard started growing thick, if y'all get what I mean. <laughs> If you don't believe me, look, it's a scientific fact. Listen to the scientists tell you. Sex is important to health, according to the Harvard Health Letter. The spike in sex hormones in the blood is so great that men's beards actually grow faster on days they have sex. So y'all just heard the scientists tell y'all. It's a scientific study that proves that men who get it in and not beating your meat. Don't beat your meat because that don't work, all right? When men make love, they get a big spike in testosterone levels in their blood. But interestingly, in contrast, they get no testosterone boost when they masturbate. You need to be getting it in, but make sure y'all wrap it up if y'all get it in, all right? And make sure you of age too, man. All right, don't be telling y'all parents, like 3WP said I had to get it in to get my beard to grow in. No, 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 I didn't say that. All I said was that's a study that was out there, man. All right, next tip. This next tip I have for you guys is a hands-on tip. So if you got the problem where your beard is patchy, what you need to do is get yourself a comb, all right? You, and before you do this, you wanna grow your beard out to the maximum thickness that it grows normally, right? A couple months will be good, right? Like a month or two where your beard is thick and you comb it down like this. Let's just say you had a patch right here. You, you comb the hair over the patch and that's gonna make the patch less noticeable. Also, I'm gonna let you guys know, this is the 360 Wave Process Facial Hair Brush. So it comes in a packaging like this. This is the container. You take it out like this, let me show you guys. And this is the brush. It's made of a refined wood with boar bristles. Now, this is the brush right here. It helps lay your facial hair down. So if you have a patchy area, the fact of brushing is gonna basically allow you to stimulate the follicles and facilitate growth like I told you guys in my last beard video. Also just brush over, like brush the hair that you have over the patchy area, which will make the patchy area 
look less noticeable. You could get this brush 360 wave process engraved onto the wood, if you can see. And it's also good for your crown area if you're a 360 waver. I know that's not a wave video, but basically, boom. Yeah, it allows you to isolate the crown area. Very precise brush strokes. Going on to the next beard tip. This next step involves basically just taking care of yourself, which is something you should have already been doing, right? You have to eat healthy, you have to drink water. Because if your body doesn't have the right nutrients, then it's not gonna be able to do things like grow healthy hair, you know what I mean? First, it takes the nutrients in your body, so the fuel, the proper fuel, and then you get the output of having healthy hair, healthy nails, healthy skin, right? If I give you some quick tips on what to eat, basically vegetables like spinach, kale, just dark leafy greens, those will give you the right nutrients that you need, all right? Other foods include basically just plant-based food items, all right? Like peanuts, like almonds, get some beans in your diet, get some fish like salmon, you gonna be good, bro. Also, you wanna make sure you get some whole grains in your diet. Whenever you go to the grocery store and buy bread, make sure you buy whole grain bread, all right? But basically buy 100% whole wheat or whole grain, and that's gonna help you out too. Brown rice, don't get the white rice because it's stripped of its nutrients, all right? Get brown rice. That's gonna give you extra nutrients from the food that you eat. Nowadays, they like to suck the nutrients from the food from, from the items, you know what I mean? Like white rice, like stuff like that, like white bread, nutrients sucked from it. It's not even that good for you, right? Doesn't give your body any nutrients. Get the right nutrients in your body and it's gonna thank you with proper hair growth. Another tip that I have for you guys basically involves keeping the beard area nice and I don't wanna say moisturize because that's not really the word I'm looking for, but you gotta give it some moisture, all right? And what I recommend for you guys to do is grab you some black Jamaican castor oil. This is how you apply black Jamaican castor oil to your beard. You grab the bottle, you put your hand on the top of the canister and you just shake it like two or three times. Then you will notice that you don't have that much. And that's the good thing about oil, you don't need that much to be effective. You rub your hands together and you apply it to your beard like so. Any excess oil, rub into your hair. After you rub the black Jamaican castor oil onto your beard, you wanna brush or comb it in, all right, like so. And this is gonna evenly apply the oil, help you style your beard. And the evenly applying it is gonna help facilitate growth. Brush the patchy area if you have a patchy area. I recommend you pick up some black Jamaican castor oil. I have a link in the description where you can get that from. So we're coming to the close of this video. I got another tip for you guys. If your beard is not growing thick and it's just getting to the certain length and then it's just stopping, well, this is what you need to do. You need to let it get to that length, right? And then you need to chop it down because if it's not growing past a certain length, that means there's an issue, all right? So you need to make sure you're working out, eating healthy. Also, it just may not be that time for it to grow thick yet. Because I remember in my early growth stages, my beard would reach a certain length and it wouldn't get any thicker, all right? So what I had to do was just line it up so that it could look nice. So that's what I suggest you do. If your beard gets to a certain length and it's not thick enough to your likings, what you need to do is let it get to that point, keep it like that for a while until you really notice that it's not growing no more, all right? And then you need to chop it down and then let it grow back to that stage. And then you will notice over time, your beard will start getting thicker and thicker. Like even my beard now, let me show you guys. My beard has been getting thicker and thicker as the months progress, all right? And I am 24 years old right now. Look at my beard. Just a, couple, just a year ago, two years ago, I didn't have a beard. All I had was the sideburns, right? My facial hair just started coming in at like 23, guys. So basically just a year ago is when I start, started growing my facial hair to this thick level right here. 
And a lot of people who been subscribed to my channel, y'all already know, 3WP didn't have facial hair. I just grew this. You have never seen it this thick. This is your, actually your first time seeing it this thick. And this is also due to the part that I'm not trimming it like I used to trim it. I used to keep trimming it because it didn't grow thick, full. So I trimmed it so that the patch area won't be as noticeable. And now it's just growing in thicker every time. Like I go to the barber shop and like I see it's, it's full, man. It's coming in full. It used to be patchy right here. This side low key got an issue, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep doing my methods. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be combing it so that the hair can lay over that little patch area that's kind of light, and I'm gonna be brushing it. I'm stimulating those follicles. One of the final things I wanna leave you guys with is basically the understanding that you should be patient, all right? Over time, your beard will experience more growth. And I say this because I noticed my beard experiencing more growth like each month at this very point in time, all right? Like just a, like four months ago, it didn't grow this thick and it didn't grow this full. So if that's the thing I gotta leave you guys with, is just be patient and over time, you will get the results you want. If you already subscribed, I really appreciate you. You a real MVP, man. Thank you, man. Man, ooh, y'all the real ones, man. I appreciate y'all, man. All right, it is late, man. I'm about to go to sleep. Shout out to all my waivers, man. Peace. See y'all in my next video. Deuces.